We present a method for decomposing an ordinary video into layers, allowing the user to edit the times at which different motions occur. In this video, three children jump into a pool at different times. The video contains complex splashing and occlusion effects. In our retimed result, the two first children are retimed to match the jump of the third, so that they all jump together. Splashing and occlusion effects are handled realistically. Our method is based on a neural network architecture that learns a layered decomposition of the video. In this video, two people pass each other causing reflections in the glass. Our output layers not only capture the individual's motion, but also their correlated effects, including reflections. To produce the layers, we first track key points of each person in the video. We then compute a separate UV map for each person and compose these UV maps over a background map. These UV maps are used to sample from a deep texture map and the results are passed through a rendering neural network. The reconstructed video is created by composing the output layers using conventional back-to-front compositing. The output of the neural network lacks some fine details. These details are added by computing a residual to the input video and applying the residual to the layers. Our model not only learns the motions of each person, but the correlated changes they generate, such as shadows and reflections. Here we show that compositing without a person's layer removes the correlated effects of that person. We demonstrate the properties of the optimization with synthetic test cases. The optimization is initialized using a trimap derived from the person's UV coordinates. The network is trained over many epochs, progressively refining the result. Effects outside the input trimap are learned incrementally as the network trains. Correlated motion is learned before uncorrelated motion. In this example, one green square is well correlated with the person, while the other green square is randomized. The network learns the person after epoch 600, the smoothly moving square after epoch 1200, and the randomized square is only learned after epoch 3400. Nearby effects are learned before distant effects. In this case, two green squares have the same motion, but one is closer to the person. The network learns the person after epoch 800, the near square after epoch 1000, and the farther square after epoch 1200. When multiple people are present, effects are learned first in the layer most correlated with them. In this example, one person moves left to right while the other moves up and down. Each person is assigned a layer initialized with a trimap. After epoch 1200, the network learns the people. After epoch 1400, it learns the green square in layer 1 and the yellow square in layer 2, even reconstructing them when they are occluded in the input. A regularization loss ensures that once learned by one layer, the squares are not further learned by the other layer as shown by the result at EPIC 2000. Our method can be used to align the motions of multiple people in a scene. This trampoline video includes complex deformation effects caused by the people jumping. Our method produces a layer for each person that includes only the deformation effects caused by that person. Using the key point tracking data, each person's jump can be aligned in time. Here we show before temporal alignment, and after temporal alignment, the person in the yellow shirt has been removed. Since the layers are combined using back-to-front compositing, we can perform interactive editing using conventional video editing tools. Here we show removal of several people, followed by interactive alignment of the two foreground people. Note that the deformation effects are correctly matched with the person causing those effects.
This ballroom sequence shows the ability of our method to learn a layer decomposition for fast motion and complex loose clothing. Here the back couple is played one second behind the front couple. Here we show alternatively freezing the back and front couples. Our method also allows duplicating the layers to produce multiple copies of the same person. This sequence also shows camera motion and freezing the second person. Thanks for watching.